What's happening everybody? Jay Shockblast here and check it out. We have the Walgreens exclusive Green Goblin and oh man, I could not believe I actually finally found this. I was prepared at many points to pay a premium for this figure and I was very fortunate to not have to. Um, so this is Green Goblin. Uh, he is part of uh, a bunch of exclusives. I also have Hobgoblin. I also found Black Suit Spider-Man and Taskmaster. Uh, my second Taskmaster. Did not find Iron Spider. Um, so yeah. Uh, so there are other... Ooh, there's a little crinkle in my box, which, you know, not my favorite, but not the end of the world. Um... So there have been some exclusive, like pretty much all the Green Goblins have been exclusive. Uh, there was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive where he had a, um, I'm not going to actually, he does have a base, but I'm not going to take that out. Um, I can understand why though, feeling his head. Um, there was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive where he kind of glittered. Um, and then there's the Hobgoblin exclusive. So his head is very heavy. Uh, which is why he has a base. I'm just not using it since I'm putting him right back in the package. Um, this one is fantastic. I'm not really a Green Goblin fan per se, um, but I mean he's been pretty awesome throughout the Marvel Universe and very classic iconic character and very hard to find. It would be even cooler if he was on his little uh, you know, flyer. Yeah, he does not stand up on his own. Um, so, keep that in mind. Uh, I did not know for the longest time that some of these figures actually came with um, bases. So, there's also that to consider. Uh, that should hopefully help him stay up. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, uh, keep that in mind. That is the Green Goblin. Uh... You can possibly still find them at uh, a Walmart near you. Uh, I was shocked to actually see three of the four in this store. Uh, I very rarely check it. And uh, yeah, man. So there we go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you.